Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Please join me at this presentation of GL Spectrosoft and SPX driver developed by GL Optic. GL Spectrosoft Basic Functions GL Spectrosoft is an analytical software package for advanced spectral analysis, also helping to analyse measurement results. SPX driver is the control software and it is run first after the spectrometer has been connected to the computer. This program also runs in the background and controls the spectrometer. When it has been connected, it is displayed at the bottom bar. The message, device number, connected, appears. SPX driver application helps to make the measurements, but it only displays raw data. The spectrum and raw measurement data, the so-called native data. Next we connect HASP key to a free USB port and then the spectrometer is connected to the computer by means of a USB cable. And then GL Spectrosoft, the analytical part of the software, is run. This program is used to make measurements and analyse results. Let's have a closer look at the program. The interface is divided into a standard window in which measurements are displayed in a graphic form and an auxiliary window which displays measurement results in a table and charts which also present the results in different standards. GL Spectrosoft calculates and presents, among others, the following values. CIE compatible colour coordinates, CCT correlated colour temperature, colour peak, colour dominant, CRI colour rendering index, MI metamerism index and others. Spectrometers provided by GeoOptic are always spectrally calibrated and they display absolute values for individual parameters. For example, in the case of measurement using mini spectrometer in a set with integrating sphere, we get the value results of the luminous flux in lumens. When we measure light with a standard diffuser, a lux value is calculated and the chart shows the value of mini watts per meter per nanometer. With a special coder system, the measurement adapters can be easily changed. This also guarantees that the program always uses the right calibration file. Similarly, when luminance is measurement with the help of display sensor, the user can see that the measurement values are expressed in candelas per square meter and can be sure that they are absolute values. Default settings are as follows. There is a menu in the top bar. The main, most often used functions are below. On the right side, we have additional windows in which measurement results and other information are displayed. In the middle, we have the chart window and above, the tabs in which subsequent measurements are shown. At the bottom, depending on the software version, we can have an additional comparison window. The position of the windows can be individually set up and the configuration can be saved. Measurement Setup Before we begin our work, I suggest you first click on Config in the top icon bar and configure the measurements before it is actually made. This function can also be activated from the Action menu where you click on Config. First tab, Measurement. Here we set Integration Time, i.e. the parameter, which defines the measurement time. It is set in milliseconds. Then we set Repeat Count in one measurement. Auto function. Automatic selection of the integration time is a very useful function. When the auto function is used, the spectrometer automatically selects integration time depending on the signal level. It can, additionally, set the maximum integrated time so that the measurement does not take too long. We set flicker frequency. It must be adjusted to the type of light source and illumination installation. Second tab, Range. It is the spectral range in which we measure. By default, the mini spectrometer measures in the range of 340 to 750 nanometer, but the range can be reduced in the case of measurements of particular light sources. Measurements. Measurements are made when the Measure button is clicked, space is pressed on the keyboard, a button on the spectrometer is pressed. 
the result in the graphic form is automatically displayed in a new tab, while in the auxiliary windows a table with the data is displayed. Additionally, we can see the results on the CIE color chart. The GL Optic devices come complete with different measurement adapters which can be used depending on our needs. We suggest measurement of illumination using diffuser, measurement of luminous flux with integrating sphere, measurement of luminance using display sensor. If you have any question, we'll be more than glad to answer them. Also, please visit our website www.gloptic.com